Hello and welcome to The Fireplace, proudly brought to you by Suncorp Team Girls. My name's Greg Davis from The Career Mail. And joining me as always, Firebirds defender Laura Clemesha. Clem, welcome. Good to be here, Greg. You're only human, Clem. Now let's rip straight into Sunday's match down in Adelaide. Mm. Tough loss. What did you get out of it? Oh, really tough loss. It was a bit of a roller coaster, both on the scoreboards and a roller coaster of emotions as things played out. Um, as a team, we really, we're really, really proud of our performance and the way we banded together um, against some pretty extreme adversity. Going down there, it was always going to be tough in front of the Adelaide crowd, who were very passionate, to say the least. Um, and then the way things played out for us, as you would have seen. Yes, so Mahalia Cassidy, ACL did a knee, it was tr absolutely terrible in that first quarter and that was on top of having no Ramelda Aiken who had a leg injury and no Kim Jenner with a broken finger. So yeah. it, was, you had, it was backs to the wall before you even stepped across the white line, wasn't it? It really was and we knew going into there that we really needed to band together as a team and that's what we really focused on, the idea of getting around each other, supporting each other, being able to lift each other's strengths up and protect where we might be vulnerable as a team. And to see Haas go down was just heartbreaking for everyone involved. Um, but the good news is Hiles is one of the most resilient people we know and she's got a great support team around her. And we'll keep rallying around her and as she starts her journey back. Fair enough, and your skipper, Gabby Simpson, she was inspirational, didn't she? Almost single-handedly lifted you to victory, wasn't she? Especially at the start of the fourth quarter when you had got the first eight goals of the quarter to hit the front. That's exactly it. Gab's approached the, the situation with such care and compassion. She brought us all in initially and gave us a moment just to feel whatever we were feeling. And then we refocused and got on with the game. And she just, she leads from the front. She steps up in the big moments and she plays with heart, which is exactly what the team needed on that occasion. Now, Griddle Tippett hmm, hit her yes. 100th goal from 100 attempts. Now, what a she's superstar. The, absolutely. She's the first Aussie to do it mm. and only the fourth player in National League history to hit 100 goals in a row. Incredible effort. Oh, absolutely. It's the way Gretz has, um, you know, dealt with, she's had two shooting partners out so far this season. We had Tipper Dwan and now Ramelda Aikens injured as well. And she's just stood up in that attack end and just shouldered the, shouldered the workload. And um, she just makes us smile and laugh every single training session. And on court, that just lifts everyone to see her just turning to the post. No, she is a superstar. All right, now it's time for the Suncorp Team Girls moment, and we're going to focus in on a very pivotal timeout in Sunday's match claim. That's right, Greg. In the second quarter, halfway through, um, Gabby brought us all together, and there were a few um, shaky, shaky bodies and shaky minds, and Gab's just really brought us in and refocused us. And told us to protect each other. That's a really big theme at the Firebirds at the moment. We saw that play out on court in numerous ways. The way that the shooters screamed their other shooter from the amazing Thunderbirds defence to make sure that they were protected out there. Um, the way the centre court protected each other and got ball side of their players to protect our teammates driving into the pocket. That all came from Gabby and then Rose's lead, you know, and in the face of all this, in the face of the adversity that we did face this week, it was just awesome to have two leaders that set the tone for us. And I don't know, there's the trust in the group that we all knew that we had each other's backs. And it was really cool. Excellent. That's why she's an inspirational leader. Absolutely. Gabby Simpson. All right, coming up, we'll have a look at this weekend's clash against the West Coast Fever. Alrighty, this Saturday night, the Queensland Firebirds host the West Coast Fever at the Queensland State Netball Centre. Clem, the Fever had a shaky mm. start to begin with, had a draw with the Vixens, who were going all right, and then they beat Collingwood last weekend. What are you expecting from them this Saturday night? Oh, we expect them to come out all guns blazing, especially really invigorated by the return of their captain, Courtney Bruce, who really stepped up for them uh, the weekend just passed. And Janelle Fowler in the goal circle is never an easy task um, for any defender. So we're looking to really just try and shut down her supply of ball um, to maybe win some ball early before it can get to her. But the great news is we're ahead. We're in front of a whole home crowd, which always just lifts us to no end. Um, and for us, it's all about just the belief, the belief in our teammates, the belief in ourselves and as our Firebirds community. So it'll be a challenge, but we're really looking forward to it. What can you take out of last weekend's game against Adelaide that it was a positive that you can build yeah. on for this week? Well, I mean, that, fir that fourth quarter, we got the first uh, seven or eight goals it was. So we're just hoping to be able to carry that 
fight and that love for each other and put that out into court uh, on Saturday night. So hopefully that's the first quarter, uh, first winning quarter of many winning quarters for us. It's, it's tough times at the Firebirds, but it, the Firebirds have such a great culture and this is when the, that famous culture comes to the fore, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think when things aren't going the best that they can be, it's just all about knowing that together we can bring it up. There is good things coming around the corner and we just got to trust that and trust each other. And remember, you can watch the Queensland Firebirds taking on the West Coast Fever on Telstra TV or the Netball Live app. And all the news about the Firebirds, Clem, and there's plenty around, is either in the Courier Mail or on the couriermail.com website. Clem, thank you very much. Too good. Thanks, Greg. See you at the Netball on Saturday.